From offset rumors to frosty first meetings, this is why Michael Weatherly found Mark Harmon difficult to work with. Recently, Weatherly began spilling the beans about working with the one and only Mark Harmon. From acting tips to unexpected challenges, Weatherly is revealing it all. So let's find out if the rumors are true. Was Mark Harmon really difficult to work with? Ah, the age-old tale of two TV stars who are as different as polar bears and penguins. Weatherly, a former star of NCIS, and Mark Harmon, who played opposite him for 13 years, have contrasting personalities. Weatherly, who portrayed Tony DiNozzo, once described their relationship as being on different poles. In his words, Weatherly was in Antarctica, and Harmon was the North Pole. The pair simply couldn't wrap their heads around each other's magnetic personalities. It was like mixing oil and water, but they managed to make it work and entertained millions of viewers every week. Who knew that the key to a successful TV show was just having leads with opposing personalities, like a superhero and a villain. In the end, they both ended up melting, but not from the heat of their differences, but from the warm embrace of friendship. It seems like Mark Harmon was taken aback by Weatherly's playful attitude right from the start. When asked about the best part of shooting the pilot episode, Weatherly said, I got a rubber gun and a fake badge. His answer left Harmon a bit bewildered to say the least. Weatherly laughed it off, saying that he was like a little kid who had too much fun with his cereal. NCIS is a highly acclaimed American police procedural drama series that has captured the hearts of audiences for over two decades. This series follows a team of special agents from the Naval Criminal Investigative Service tasked with solving crimes involving the United States Navy, the Marine Corps, and their families. Set in the bustling city of Washington, D.C., NCIS combines elements of military drama, police procedural genres, and creates an engaging, dynamic viewing experience. The NCIS team was led by Supervisory Special Agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs, a former United States Marine Corps gunnery sergeant, scout sniper, and seasoned investigator. With his sharp instincts and unwavering dedication to justice, Gibbs, whose character is no longer on the show, was a fan favorite character and a cornerstone of the NCIS franchise. Over the years, the strength of NCIS has grown considerably. It's garnered critical acclaim, a massive following of dedicated fans, and it's become so popular that it's been broadcast in syndication on the USA Network, ensuring that audiences will be able to enjoy the series for decades to come. With its captivating storylines, engaging characters, and pulse-pounding action, NCIS is a true television classic and a staple of the police detective genre. But getting back to Mark Harmon and his career, he starred as Secret Service Special Agent Simon Donovan in The West Wing back in 2002, which earned him his second Emmy Award nomination 25 years after his first. After Donald P. Bellicero, the creator of JAG and NCIS, saw Harmon on The West Wing, he was cast as NCIS agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs in two episodes of JAG in 2003. Harmon then went on to play Gibbs in NCIS beginning in September 2003, a role that earned him six People's Choice Award nominations and a win for favorite TV crime drama actor in 2017. During his time on NCIS, Harmon was reunited with three of his former Chicago Hope co-stars and has served as an executive producer on the show since 2008. In the fourth episode of the 19th season, Harmon's Gibbs left the series as a regular, following events from the previous season finale. During Harmon's stint on the West Wing, the Secret Service special agent was featured in a four-episode story arc. Little did he know, the role would lead to even bigger and better things. Mark was then introduced as the character of NCIS agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs, and the rest, as they say, is history. Despite his departure, Mark's impact on the show and his fans will surely be felt for years to come. As for Michael Weatherly, in 2003, Weatherly made a splash as senior NCIS special agent Anthony DiNozzo in two episodes of the hit CBS series, JAG. Little did he know, the role would launch him into stardom and become a defining part of his career. Michael continued to bring his charm and wit to the character in the spin-off series, NCIS, where he became a fan favorite. Not only has he captured the hearts of fans on the popular TV show NCIS, 
but his talent and versatility have also earned him guest appearances on other NCIS franchises. Back in 2014, he made an appearance on NCIS New Orleans. And he's also been seen on the spin-off series NCIS Los Angeles. It's no surprise that Michael's performance has captivated audiences across multiple shows. His natural charisma and his ability to bring depth and nuance to his roles has solidified his place as a versatile and talented actor. Michael Weatherly was a major cast member of NCIS, and his long tenure on the series made it seem certain that he would continue to work on the show for the foreseeable future. Weatherly's character was beloved by fans worldwide, and it seemed he was sure to stick around. That was until a shocking announcement. In January 2016, CBS revealed that Michael Weatherly, who had captivated audiences for 13 seasons as the lovable rogue Tony Donozo on NCIS, would be bidding farewell to the show. However, fans of Michael need not worry, as the network also announced that he would be returning to the small screen as the lead in a new series titled Bull. Loosely based on the real-life trial consultancy of Dr. Phil McGraw, Bull promises to be a thrilling and dynamic new adventure for Michael and fans alike. But despite their initial differences, Weatherly and Harmon went on to become great friends. Weatherly also admits that he learned a lot from Harmon, saying he'll always carry the wisdom that his co-star imparted on him into the future. Turns out all it took for these two TV stars to get along was a little humor and some mutual respect. Aside from picking up on how to be the leading man and the star of the show, Harmon also imparted some valuable wisdom to Weatherly. In an interview, Weatherly joked that Harmon educated him on the importance of maintaining complexity as an actor and emphasized that it was his responsibility to uphold this quality, even though it can be challenging. Fortunately, the NCIS team had outstanding writers who ensured that all characters were intricate and complex, far surpassing the actor's own complexity in real life. After 13 seasons on the show, Weatherly bid farewell to his role on NCIS. However, he didn't let his acting skills get rusty and practice new techniques to keep his skills fresh. Weatherly says, I used to infuse a bit of Steve Martin into every episode of NCIS, which kept it exciting for me. But as the central character, I learned that I had to rein in my acting choices or I'd come off as a wild and unhinged person. And there you have it. Michael Weatherly's intriguing revelations about his time working alongside Mark Harmon on NCIS. Despite the difficult challenges, you can see that he speaks highly of his experience and the lessons he learned from his co-star. So from offset rumors to frosty first meetings, that's why Michael Weatherly found Mark Harmon difficult to work with.